guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be going over the Isabel deck. Um, once again, not one of my more favorites. She ranks just above Cutter and right behind Shipmaster. Uh, Shipmaster not being a bad deck, but Cutter being a bad deck. But she has her uses, just not my favorite deck. Just personal preference, I guess. So the starting armies are Hacker or Heavy Weapons. Both have their uses. I personally go Hacker. Uh, because I like the speedier units, but Heavy Weapons does have its uses, I will tell you that. But for the sake of me building this, since these are supposed to be my semi-builds of my decks, we will go with Hacker. So now, like as always, we're going to start with the expensive units. So we have Ghost in the Machine, Alice 130, Condor Strike, and Mag Blast. Uh, we'll get into Lockdown Scorpion here in a second, but Mag Blast... Launch a high damage slug to blast a target area. I think with her deck, in my opinion, you need to pick between Mac Blast or Ghost in the Machine. Personally, I like Ghost in the Machine. While it doesn't destroy the enemy's units per se, it will destroy them as in the fact that they're fighting each other. Uh, but in general, it doesn't destroy them like the Mac Blast will. I prefer Ghost in the Machine. Just that's a personal preference. And then I feel like it's the same for Alice 130 as well as the Condor Strike. I feel like Alice 130, oops. I feel like Alice 130 has its uses. Uh, it has a Spartan Slam, it has the Reflect, it has a Shield. Um, it is a really useful unit, uh, but like with most things, Condor Strike wins out. I just like it. Uh, the, the, the big argument for the hero units, while it can't do as much damage or do nearly as much as a Condor Strike can, you can leave them on the field. They're not going to disappear out after X amount of time and they can stay out there. They can be healed, and they can stay out there for a permanent amount of time until they die. Uh, that is the argument against uh, them versus the Condor Strike slash uh, Scarab. For me personally, though, I prefer the Condor and Scarab. But that is really just all personal preference. Now, unlike usual, we're going to go back to the beginning here, and we're going to talk about the beginning choices you have here. As always, Nightingale, lock and load that into the deck. And now let's talk about Hollow Decoy and Shrapnel Mines. Now these really depend on whether or not I think you choose Ghost in the Machine versus Mac Blast. If you choose Mac Blast, I think the Hollow Decoy makes the most sense. It gives you a damaging, damaging card in the Mac Blast, and it gives you Hollow Decoy and a support card. If you go with Ghost in the Machine, Shrapnel Mine makes the most sense because it gives you something to deal damage uh, instead of two support cards. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of Hollow Decoy or Shrapnel Mines. They're cheap, which is what makes them the most viable, uh, but they're not my favorite, and I'm not going to put them into this deck, but they are viable options in your deck. So for this one, we're going to go with the Quick Spam unit in the Hellbringers, Jackrabbit, Marines, Cyclops, Wolverine, and Warthog. Taking up six spots already with the cheaper units here. Uh, and I just prefer the cheaper units in this deck to go along with Ghost in the Machine. Ghost in the Machine is your real heavy hitter. Uh, you're going to take control of a lot of your enemy units and really thwart their first strike on you. Uh, it does wonders and it really does stall and buy yourself time. If your army quite doesn't compete with theirs, it can really sever their army because then you have their units fighting their units. And then it comes down to just personal preference. If you want to push your units in and assist their units in killing their units, I'm not really sure how else to say that, uh, but you can, or you can hold off and let them fight it out and then finish off what's left. It's really just personal preference on that, but that's how I like to run it uh, with a lot of cheap units. And you see we have three spots left for this tier, the 60 to 150 range. And so in this deck, unlike Cutters where we took the Vulture, I take the Lockdown Scorpion. The Lockdown Scorpion has Shock. This unit intimidates nearby enemy troops, significantly reducing their army. Uh, this is a Isabel Leader Restricted card, and it's pretty good. It's not great. 150 is a little steep for it. I would have liked to see it maybe down at 120. Um, but the regular Scorpion's already overpriced at 110, uh, so... They couldn't have put it at 120, that would make no sense. No one would use the regular Scorpion. There would be no use for the regular Scorpion in an Isabel deck. You might as well just take it out of the, the card selection for her. Uh, but the Lockdown Scorpion, while being overpriced, I still think it's a good, viable unit. 
Now, the veteran Cyclops and Wolver Vanguard Wolverine, once again, are options over the lower costing, cheaper variants of them. Uh, same with the veteran Jackrabbit and the wild Jackrabbit. Once again, all viable options. But in this neck, we are actually going to take a Hornet, the air unit. Now, you could simply sub the Hornet for the Vulture. The Vulture, the better unit, um, but it does come at a 60 energy increase in price, so if you keep that in mind. Uh, but that is a personal choice. And then the Kodiak. I like the lockdown units. I've really gotten into that here uh, near the end of the beta. I've gotten into the lockdowns. Uh, with the Kodiaks and the Blisterbacks, so the Kodiak does make its way into this deck, um, but you could easily sub in anything you want, like the Wild Jackrabbit or Veteran Jackrabbits. I do like these; uh, they're just a they're just a little bit too pricey for me. I just don't want to pay. It's just it's just like they're just like ten or twenty uh, energy too much. If the Wild Jackrabbit was forty and the Veteran was like. 50 or 60 I would be a lot more interested in them um but they're just like they just seem a little too overpriced for me in my opinion uh but that is going to do it for the Isabel deck a pretty simple build um it's just a lot of push quick units cheap units with the expensive lockdown for the Kodiak locking that down and the lockdown scorpion to intimidate their enemies and to be kind of the leader unit to push in with the rest of your units Ghost in the Machine as your huge support card, as well as the Condor Strike. Uh, so guys, that's going to do it for the Isabel deck. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the final deck profile for Anders. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out. Letting go, times we might feel compelled. Looking down from the heights that we have built all by.